In this video, we'll define file management and recognize its importance, reflect on your process for managing and organizing files related to your classwork, practice file management strategies such as naming files and creating structure via folders and subfolders. File management is a system that organizes various types of files or data based on a hierarchical structure. For example, you can organize all of your files, presentations, and homework for classes based on semester, course, and date or type of assignment. Creating hierarchies based on dates and subjects will help you to find your files more easily. Not sure about how your files are currently structured? Let's look at four strategies for getting organized. First, take an inventory. How are the files on your computer hard drive organized? Do you have folders and files that are well organized and easy to retrieve? How many steps would it take you, and how much time, to retrieve an assignment saved on your computer if you were asked by a professor to resubmit something later in the semester? If you don't already have a system in place, start with years or semesters first before creating folders for your classes and individual projects. Be descriptive when naming your files. Sarah space lab report dot doc x isn't a great title because Sarah may have multiple lab reports in a semester and the multiple semesters with lab reports. Think about using a more specific assignment title and the date so it is useful for you and your professor. Always put your first and last name in the title of class assignments unless otherwise directed. The example Sarah Jones underscore lab report one dot sep 15 dot doc x is correct. Finally, note that spaces and document titles can be problematic for long-term data storage, so use the underscore key instead. Always have two copies that are geographically distinct from each other. What does that mean? In relation to file management, being geographically distinct means that you are storing documents locally and remotely. Saving something locally means saving it on your computer. Think about your desktop or documents file on your computer. Saving something remotely means saving externally. Think about saving all of your files in a cloud-based system, like Google Drive or Dropbox, or an external hard drive. In order to start developing your own best practices for file management, you might consider taking the following steps to get more organized. Take an inventory of everything you have saved. Organize by date first. Be descriptive. Think about classes, semesters, years, and assignment titles. Also, remember to always store your files locally and remotely.